Hello YouTube world, this is Jeffrey aka Bone Central Railroad and I am here in my house on my kitchen table to show you guys a little project that I did this weekend. Currently in college I am taking a film photography class. For those of you that are younger viewers and may not know what film is, cameras used film to take pictures before we had digital cameras. And the film would come in these plastic canisters here. And I figured that these would make for a really good flat car gondola load one day. So I started keeping them. I had only at this point in time developed maybe like four or five rolls of film. So um, I had asked my professor if I could take some of the empty film canisters that, she had laying, that they had laying around in the uh, developing room. She told me to take as many as I want. So I took uh, quite a few and I turned them into chlorine storage tanks. And the reason why I came up with chlorine storage tanks was I, I really didn't know what to do. I was thinking maybe like a pipe load. So I went to the O-Gage Railroading Forum for advice. And they said it would look, they, and uh, pretty much the cons consensus was that it would look good standing up. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So I went over to AC Moore and I purchased some acrylic craft paint, a paintbrush, and some hemp cord. What I did was I poured the paint onto a foam plate and I began to paint, I painted eight of them. And the dry time it said was an hour, it took a little over an hour. I had gone out, I had been busy doing some other stuff, I came back maybe about three hours, four hours later, and everything was all dry. Now once the paint was all dry, I went onto Google Images and I uh, searched for chlorine labels. Things that you would typically see, danger, chlorine, and warning. Caution signs about handling chlorine. And the reason why I chose chlorine tanks was because um, I joined the swim team as a, in high school as a freshman, and I've been a lifeguard for the past four years, so I just love the pool. I love swimming. I love uh, being a lifeguard. So I figured let's combine the two loves of uh, being a lifeguard and being in the water, combine that with my model trains, and make a pretty cool load. So that's what I did. So anyway, I went on Google Images, I copied these images, and I pasted them onto Microsoft PowerPoint on a blank slide. And I shrunk the images to the size that you have now. And um, I, I, uh, pa I copied the shrunken images, pasted them a million times so that I would have two of each type on the uh, canisters, as you can see here as I turn it around. So I would cut them out, and I placed a very small drop of Elmer's glue on the back and I used a toothpick to spread the paint uh, spread the glue out so that when I applied the uh, warning label to the tank you wouldn't have glue going all over the place so it came out pretty good I waited for the glue to dry that was about half an hour or so and then I went on to my next step so I'll just uh, move this off here my next step was actually turning it into a load for a railroad car. So what I did was I had a box, a cardboard box laying around. And I knew that I would uh, use it eventually, uh, so I kept it around for a while. And what I did was I cut out the flap. And I made inch three-quarter squares to use as pallets. And this is when the hemp cord came into use. I used the hemp cord to be a rope. And I tied one rope going one way and then the other way made a cross and I secured the the tank and the rope by using tape I cheated here because I realized that these are going to be sitting on a gondola car and nobody's going to see the bottom so I cheated by using tape and it works as you can see here I'm playing I'm flipping it around and nothing's happening it's secure so I was only able to get six of them on the gondola I'll put this one back and my next step was to secure the load to the rail car. And I did this once again by using the hemp cord. And I will uh, move this stuff out of the way. I'll turn the car over. I ran the cord underneath the rail car. And then up. And I secured the car, the load to the car, by tying a knot, as you can see here. Oop, there we go. And I used a scissor to cut off any of the excess rope. And to make sure that I did a good job and the load is secured, 
I did this. And as you can see, it holds, so the load is secure. And there we have it, six brand new chlorine storage tanks sitting on a Lionel Chessy System PS5 gondola car. This is a very simple project that you could do yourself. You could probably, since film is no longer, you could probably find these on eBay. I just got very lucky and was able to um, take this film photography class and able to get a few for myself to make these loads. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you again to everybody on the O Gage Railroading Forum who gave me the uh, great advice about standing them up. My next step is to buy another gondola and make another load. And when I do that, I will do another update. You can see this car running this Saturday and Sunday when we open up for the Burton County Model Railroad Club's Midland Park train show. I will uh, post a link to show dates and times on, our, on this video. It's a link to the club website. And you can get directions to the church where we'll be holding it, the Midland Park United Methodist Church. And show dates and times. Hope to see you there. And thank you again for watching. This has been Jeffrey, a.k.a. Bone Central Railroad. Have a good one.